everybody! Welcome to my crazy life! It's Lori! And it's a snowy cold Saturday and we're gonna do some cooking keto for one. And today I'm gonna make for you, with my spaghetti squash that I roasted in the oven, I'm going to make um, pizza casserole out of it. And we're gonna make it together because I just kind of made this up in my head as far as I know. Um, but it sounded delicious to me and I had all the ingredients. Um, so what I did is I cut this in half I turn it upside down on a baking sheet and I put it in a 350 degree oven. It takes about an hour. I know you can do it in the microwave, but I just prefer to do it in the oven. All right, so what we're gonna do is change camera direction and then I'll show you the ingredients. Hang tight. So I have the squash, this is half of it. I'm gonna do a whole one and then I'm gonna put it in the oven, but I wanted to show you. Once it's cooked and you know it's cooked, when it does this, and you're just literally scraping the squash out and it comes out i don't know how to do it backwards but it comes out kind of stringy and that's why they call it spaghetti squash um because it looks like spaghetti but it's squash i like i said i put it in a 325 degree oven and i let it cook till i can poke through this outer shell and it goes in real easy if i get any kind of crunchy resistance when i flip it over then i know it's not done but this one took about an hour so I have a whole entire two pound spaghetti squash and I have some pepper in here that I ground in. So I'm gonna do a little more, I love pepper. Okay, so I have that. Then I have this pizza sauce and this is, um, I don't know, Simply, Natru Simply Nature, I think I got it Kroger maybe? I don't know. A serving is a quarter of a cup and that serving has six carbohydrates. So I'm gonna try two tablespoons, which is just under a quarter of a cup and let's see what we get. So I believe, if I'm not wrong, three tablespoons is a quarter of a cup. But even if, I, yeah, I'm gonna do the whole take quarter of a cup. Even if I do three tablespoons, this is gonna be more than six servings for me. So I'm going to stir that up. And I just want the taste of tomato. It doesn't have to be saucy. Yeah, that looks good. And you can use tomato paste if you have oh, Tomato paste if you have it. Um, you don't have to put tomato. You could just put a little sauce on. Oh, sorry. A little sauce on top. You could do what you want. This is what I'm choosing to do as the first go round. All right. So that looks tomato-y to me. Then I have... Pink Himalayan sea salt, Italian seasoning, garlic, and diced, or these are the dried dehydrated onions in here. I just thought that was pizza flavor. Again, do whatever you want, however much you want. At this point, I might even give it a little taste to see if there's enough salt in it before I go adding raw egg, which I'm going to use as the binder. The raw egg and the cheese will bind this together like a casserole. So let's just take a little tiny piece. Mmm, that's good. It's sufficiently pizza eat to me. So I have that. This is pepperoni. I don't know how much. I just grabbed a bunch and cut it into four. So it's regular rings of pepperoni cut into fours. I'm going to put it in here. And I might end up putting some whole pepperoni on top, but we'll see. I don't know. Maybe not this go round, but I wanted it cut up just to make it more casserole like. Now some cheese and how much cheese? I don't know, a handful to start. A handful for me is about a cup. So I would say that's about a cup. Um, in this bag I have about a cup and a half. So we'll do that. I have mozzarella, pre-shredded, I know, bad. It's okay, it's all gonna be good. Now I want to get a bigger spoon because my fork is just not going to cut it. Yeah, so I would say a cup and a half of mozzarella worked out well, but again, your mileage may vary, but I think that looks good. And then I'm, I'll sprinkle a little more on top. Okay. Then I have two beaten eggs, just two whole eggs, large beaten. 
And I want that to kind of help bind this together so it becomes a casserole and not just some melted squash. So there's everything. That's all the ingredients. And what I will do is put it in this pan. This is a small pan. This is not a 9 by 12 or 10 by 13. Spray it with some. I use this coconut cooking spray. I'm going to put all of this mixed up mess in it. And you can, again, use whatever size pan you have. This is what I have to work with today. And then I'm going to bake it. And I don't know how long it's going to take. But I want the eggs cooked. So you kind of got to make sure it bakes up. And I could have used a smaller container, but that's fine. So I'm going to smooth out the top and I'm going to bake it. And then at the end, I'm going to put a little more mozzarella cheese on top and brown it up under the broiler just to make it look pizza-like. So this is what we have. All right, I'm just going to stick it in the oven. Here it is, what it looks like. I pulled it out of the oven. It's been in here for 30 minutes on 425 and I just switched it over to the broiler but it looks done to me it's firm decided with I'm gonna put a little more sauce on the top and I'll just be careful with my carbs but there's about one tablespoon about two tablespoons and then I'm just gonna take this barbecue Spreader Dilly Whoppy. And I am going to actually, I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna broil it right now. I think I want everything to melt first. But so you decide on you how much carbs you want. This will be a lot of servings. And I allow myself six per meal, and this will be one meal. So there's a little more sauce on top, and I'm going to put a little bit of pepperoni on top, and some cheese, because that's what I like. This would be so good with like crumbled um, sausage, mushrooms, but this is what I had in the house today. And then I'm not doing a whole ton of cheese, probably like a half a cup, just to kind of get the top back up and running and make it look pizza-like. So we're going to stick it back in the oven and let all this melt. I'm going to say about 20 minutes. I just pulled it out of the oven. I let it go a little longer. I was busy doing something else. But that's okay. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm going to let it cool a little bit so I can cut it. And then we're going to have a little bit of a taste test. Yeah, it's still super hot. I just took it out of a 425 degree oven. <sighs> True statement. All right. I will let it sit here probably about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna taste it. I'm back and I have the casserole. It actually looks really tasty. I'm gonna see if you can see here. The squash, the cheese, the egg made it kind of light. It's still hot, it just came out of the oven. Can you see the steam? That's good. I mean, it's not pizza, but it hits all the flavor notes. Pepperoni, the cheese, the Italian seasoning, the sauce. That's good. Mm-hmm. And I think this would be good as like a cheesy chicken dish too. Like cream cheese and chicken, that's with a zucchini. I just need veg. But I think we have a score. All right, everybody, thanks for watching, and this is Cooking Keto for One. Choo-choo! Oh.
doing? 